Welcome to another Learn Python by Example tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to start building an SEO uh, uh, program. Um, I don't know how far we're going to go with this, but um, as of right now, I have no work. Uh, so we'll see what we can do over the weekend. And uh, until I plan some more work, uh, we'll just keep programming something here. Uh, I really don't have a goal for it. I've been wanting to build um, an SEO uh, software for a while because uh, a lot of the work that I do with websites it would be really helpful and I just never get around to it because I'm lazy but today I decided let's do it so we're gonna do it um, first thing we want to do is make a folder for our software so make dir um, SEO program I guess we'll call it uh, then we're gonna CD into that directory so SEO oh, SEO program now we're going to create a virtual environment if you do not have a virtual environment set up on your computer all you have to do is pip 3 or pip without the 3 install uh, virtual env like that alright that will install a virtual environment so pause your video do that Alright, now that you're back from your pause video, now go ahead and do virtual EMV. Um, let's call it SEO. Alright, so it's going to create a virtual environment for us so I can load um, packages and whatnot into our program without screwing with my underlying Python installation. Alright, there we go. That's installed. So now we're going to CD into SEO. Now we're going to go ahead and do a uh, source bin forward slash activate our virtual environment. And we can tell it's activated by these parentheses and the SEO in there. Bang, we activate it. All right, cool. Now I'm going to open up my text editor and open up my file I just created. And I'll open up at SEO program level just in case I need to do something in there but as of right now I have no idea what we're doing anyhow alright so we're gonna build um, an SEO program um, right now I just wanna build something to make sure it works so we're gonna basically we're gonna scrape the um, the website that we put in there and we're, we're basically looking for on-page SEO type stuff like uh, is the keyword in the title is uh, how many times is the keyword used throughout the page stuff like that that's that's what I'm looking for and eventually we'll do like a grade on it and uh, maybe we'll get into building a GUI and whatnot for it I don't know who knows we might end up send, selling this software I have no idea where I'm going with this to be honest with you but let's just get something started you know get something on the page here and uh, try it out so first thing we're gonna need is a way to open a URL so we can do that with uh, from URL Whoa. we need to create a file yeah so inside SEO I'm gonna open up SEO let's prepare ourselves for using a GUI so we're gonna call this main.py alright and for now we're gonna probably put most of our code in here until I get completely lost in the code and then we'll split it up properly anyhow let's go ahead and do from uh, URL lib dot request uh, import URL open so we can open a URL that's our goal there. Um, now we're going to use Beautiful Soup. And what Beautiful Soup does is basically makes HTML easy to read when we open the page. Um, beautiful Soup is a beautiful thing, if you ask me. So we're going to need that. So let's open up our uh, terminal. We're going to do pip3 install beautiful soup. Four maybe I haven't done this in so long using beautiful soup but we'll find out if that doesn't oh it did work man they haven't changed it okay so we installed beautiful soup now let's do um from bs4 import 
Beautiful soup. Soup. Yeah, we go. All right. So until we and if we uh, end up building a GUI for this, um, right now all we want to do is kind of use the terminal. So we're going to do a URL. It's going to represent the URL. So we're going to do input. What am I doing? There we go. Input. And we're going to say which page would you like to check? And uh, we need them to enter full URL bang, just like that. All right, so we're going to get the URL that we want to check. Then we need a keyword to search for. So we're going to do keyword, we'll do input, and we'll say, what is, what is, what is your SEO keyword, word, like that. And then we need to open the page. So let's do that. Uh, HTML uh, URL open URL. All right. So we're using a URL open function and we're throwing the URL is an argument. You know what? Um, well, let's put this in a try and accept statement. Just in case it doesn't work, we can return an error. So we'll do accept and we'll do I think it's HTTP E R R R. This is a URL lib HTTP R as E. I think that's what it is. It's been a while. Print E like that. Um, so if we get, we're going to try to open the URL. If we don't get it, it's going to return an HTTP error. So we'll check that. Um, now we need to get the data. So we're going to use uh, data is equal to beautiful soup. And in the parentheses, we'll do HTML. So our URL. And then html dot parser I don't think that's required but we'll throw it in there anyway and then we'll create a function and basically I'm just gonna say if the keyword is found in the title uh, the title tags which will look like this in HTML right they're found in the title tags just return found if not found then um, return not found how does that sound all right define SEO I'll call title I'm just gonna take two arguments we'll do keyword and data all right if if keyword dot we're gonna have to do a case fold on this because if the user types capitals it won't match so we'll do case fold in data dot title so data is our HTML data and we're looking for the title dot case fold again because what happens if the title in here is in capitals or, or something else so case fold just removes any case uh, designation in that string so we end our if statement we'll just do um, uh, status is equal to found and we'll do else status not found All right. and then we'll just return status right yeah that sounds good and then we'll print SEO title so print our function with our arguments as keyword and data save that and hopefully this works um, there we go Python 3 and 
what did I call it? Main.py. There we go. So now we're going to have to put in a URL. Uh, I'll try Google. I wonder if Google actually tries to rank for with SEO terms. I'm going to put search and see if that comes up. Uh, name or SEO title not defined. What? Oh, tile. Dur. Oops. Save that. Now let's try that again. Because that is not how you spell title. Let's try HTTP Google dot blue google.com and we'll like search I would imagine they would use search in their title now yeah, what the freezing problem if non type object is not callable what does it does that mean Keyword in data title. But it's probably not returning a string. Uh, I think it's a text or get text. Let's we'll try text. Let's we'll try that. Or it's get text. I don't remember. Let's we'll try it again. HTTP Google.com search not found. All right, well, we didn't get an error that time, but Google doesn't have search. Let me uh, pull up one of my pages on my site where I know I'm actually trying to rank for a word. And just give me a second. Introduction to Pro Python Programmer Course. My guess is going to be we can use Python. So let's go ahead and run this again. Uh, put Python found. Awesome. All right. So in our first part of getting our uh, SEO program up and running we have found a keyword in our SEO title now that's not where we're gonna stop because if we found it alright great but I imagine there's more to SEO so what I'm gonna do is leave you guys with this video for now and I'm gonna go research SEO cuz I don't know sh crap about it I was about to say a bad word naughty anyhow I'll go do that and then I will um, come back and We'll continue writing our program, see what we can come up with, see what we can do. I'll see you guys then. Later.